Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Megan Payton alongside Andy Lang and Brian Power of wagertalk.com. Week four, Monday night football. We're talking NFC West. How about the 49ers favorites against the Rams? Uh, the Rams have not won on the road against the 49ers since 2018. Line is Niners minus one and a half, the total at 42. Brian, we'll come to you first. What can we expect to see in a divisional rival against the Rams and Niners? Well, you know, you talked about the Rams' lack of success against the 49ers in the past, at least the betting win. Of course, they'll take that NFC Championship game win uh, last year. But the Niners are 5-0 and against the number the last five meetings. I think that also includes a Monday night game last season. I could be wrong there, but um, it, it kind of popped into my head that I, I think these teams played on Monday night last year. Uh, definitely includes the NFC title game, as I mentioned, which the Rams won but did not cover. Uh, the Niners are pretty interesting because no one is going to be rushing to bet them, it seems, but they've got a very good yards per play differential on the year. They've won that battle in all three games, 5.1 to 3.7 last week in that ugly game against the Broncos. They were just nullified by being minus three in turnovers. And it's also worth noting that the last six 49ers games, uh, going back to last year's playoff run, have all stayed under the total. This number down to 42. I think I even saw 41 and a half earlier in the day. Uh, Primetime unders, seven and three this year. So probably going to be low scoring. And the Rams have had some issues scoring in the second half this year. They were obviously awful in the opener against Buffalo. Week two, they let Atlanta in through the back door. And last week, just the one touchdown against Arizona. Uh, they dominated that game in terms of yards per play, by the way. Uh, Shanahan, I like him as an underdog, not as a favorite. McVay's 5-2 and two against the number as a division dog. My guess is... At this point of the week, you follow the primetime under trend. Two division rival each other well. Uh, that would be my lean here uh, midweek. One thing I'm looking at is 49ers have the fourth worst red zone defense. Offenses have a 75% success rate when going against them. And Andy, how about you, though? What player props can we look at for two what we like to think of as uh, offensive uh, offensive style of teams? Well, uh, one player prop we can look at potentially is going to be Jeff Wilson to score a touchdown. Uh, I feel like he's been a little unlucky the first game that he got a majority of the carries. Uh, they went to everyone else. Like Kyle Juszczyk got a rushing touchdown. Then they went with the rookie inside the five-yard line, and uh, he didn't have any success. Now he's out. Wilson didn't get a touchdown last week, but I feel like positive regression is coming for Wilson. He's the main guy there. So when they get in close, they're going to be leaning on him. I think he gets the carries. I would also piggyback off of what Brian was saying about the under – I think I'm going to play the first half under. It's 21. As long as that as long as that number stays at 21 or higher, I'm I'm going to take that. These teams are combined one four and one in first half unders. Uh, Pro Football Focus has them ranked as both top seven defenses. The Niners, the number 28 offense, and don't forget Garoppolo was kept out of meetings, didn't get very many snaps in practice. It's going to take him a few games to get going on offense. I think both these teams struggle to score touchdowns early. Uh, I think that we maybe see the second half open up just a little bit, but I see a little bit of a clunky opening to this game. So I'm going to take the first half under. The 49ers also take over 30 seconds per play in the first half. The Rams take over 28 seconds of play. So you're going to see less plays in the first half. Uh, they rank 14th and 29th with slowest times in first half plays. So take a look at Jeff Wilson to score one of the few touchdowns in this game, but I'm going first half under. Yeah, people don't give enough credit to Jimmy G. Let's talk about he didn't have a playbook during the offseason. He is learning the plays as we speak. Uh, great stuff from Andy and Brian. You can get more of them on Twitter at Bump Sports for Andy Lang and at Brian Power underscore wins. Thank you, guys. And if you have not already, download Wager Talk TV app so you stay in the know as we continue on in the NFL season.